Hi, uh, it's Mon here, and just wanted to do a little bit more documentation of my work with hemp oil. Tonight I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, RSD, which uh, at my last radio show that I did, um, I had somebody contact me that had a friend that had RSD, and she had told me, that her friend had really suffered with it and from it and that it was the most severe pain on the planet. Um, this is another thing I'd never heard of until somebody called me about it and you know I wound up getting some some hemp oil to her and she shared it with her friend and I got a call um, what I did was um, I talked with the girl's um, boyfriend and I um, um, found out how what her integrative level with THC was, which she had not smoked pot at all, basically, in her life. Maybe she had tried it once before or twice earlier, in, uh, but as far as in the last couple decades, she had not interacted at all with pot. So when you have a situation like that, you have to be really careful in the way that you um, integrate the oil. You have to start off really slow. So what I did was I sent her four caps that had, um, I use I, once again the number three caps are perfect because they're so small and I put in the amount of oil it looked about half the size of a mouse poop and just really tiny bit of oil and I sent her four caps with that amount in it and four caps with about mm, twice that much in it and then I sent her a syringe with three grams in it and some empty caps and I expected that it would be a few days before it got up to the level where it was actually controlling her pain and since it was so severe I'd never if it's the most severe pain on the planet I I don't know quite what I'm dealing with so I just have to kind of give it um, a little bit of leeway on hoping it's going to get up to taking care of it and it wound up that she called me the next day after starting it and she said I just want to thank you for sending that to me and I've had just great relief from it and I said wait a minute you when did you start taking this and she said oh yesterday I took the first dose and she said I took the second dose this morning and I said well you're still on the first doses then of the smallest amount right and she said yes and I said well you mean it started working like right away and she said oh absolutely right from the very beginning I was pain-free and she said I actually have a car that I keep around and she said I can't drive the car because I get in spasms with my pain but I keep it around so friends when they come over on the bus or whatever they can drive me around town if I need some errands to be done and she said I felt so good today I actually got in and I drove my car for the first time in a couple of years and I had no problems at all with it and well, once again, I'm amazed by you know how uh, incredible the oil is to work with, and this is another case that this lady she's she's lucky enough to she'll be on oil for the rest of her life. She and something else that um, I was advised of after um, the mutual friend that actually got it to her um, uh, contacted me after she found out that it worked so well. And she told me she read an article that said something about um, every person that has been shot by a bullet, especially with these high um, velocity, small caliber bullets that they're using in war nowadays, um, basically has a case of RSD. And I can't remember, I think I'm going to make it a very like um, low number. I think it's something like 16 or 18 people, vets a day are committing suicide that have returned from the war something that the government doesn't really want to publish a whole lot because it's a factor of war that they don't want to let people know about but if these vets are suffering from the most debilitating pain if just a bullet even grazed them and then they wind up with this and then it, there's no real cure for it and the only treatment is the awful rabbit hole that allopathic medicine will take you down as far as those drugs that they give you that last four hours at a time and it's so easy to get addicted to and are never good enough for over the long run because after a while they stop working they start being stop being effective and they've got to give you more and more severe pain medications it's just I've met so many people that are on that that hamster wheel and they are so not only them but their families are so happy to have them off of it because not only does it take from your quality of life physiologically, 
but it also takes away from your psychological uh, well-being in that it screws with your emotions so that not only are you having a not a fun time but everybody around you is not having a fun time because well if you're not having fun that's just the way it is you know you you tend to be not that fun to be around so anyway just wanted to document that too and um, kind of put it out there because especially if anybody knows anybody that's a vet tell them get on hemp oil right away so that we can make it so that we can start doing some research with this, some real research, and maybe get some other um, testimonies. And I will get, um, I've got so far two people that have RSD taking it, and as soon as they get to the point where they're stabilized and have been doing it for a while, I will get them to do some videos and I will post them as well. And I also have um, some uh, investigations I've been doing with uh, uh, hemp oil and skin cancer. And um, I have pictures, and I'm going to have to up my video-making ability to be able to integrate all that. But I'm, I'm going to do that. And as soon as I have documentation that is complete, it's still in the works, um, I'll be putting that out as well and other things that I find out. As I think of it and as time comes up, I will continue to document. So uh, love you all. Take care. Ciao.